Gotcha. I was going to save this for the middle or the end of this 3D Machines production, but I'm too excited, I gotta say it. Crush Orange Machine decals are in. That's what the new machine decal looks like. You can find it at machinemerch.com. I also put two on Crush. I got them in the mail yesterday and I didn't put them in yesterday's vlog, so I wanted to put it in today's vlog. Let's get up to the camper. Lady machines and gentle machines, I hope you guys are enjoying your day. We just got to the Crush Carrier, the Crush Mobile 101, whatever you want to call it. Jason and I are here. Today is a wet and crappy day, but we're not going to let that get in the way at all. We have plenty to smile about. Our grass is getting fed for free. We found some free cinder blocks. How can it get any better? The plan for today is we're going to level the Crush Carrier. We're going to make this thing level so that we can then square the walls, get this thing moving in the right direction. There's all this stuff. You see all this stuff right here? Like all this wood and, and debris and things of that nature. Well, we found those cinder blocks in that stuff. So uh, what's the plan here, Jason? Jack up the back end, put some cribbing underneath it, drop it back down. I hope you have your rain suit on because this 3D Machines production is going to be a little wet. <laughs> Both the front of the trailer and the back of the trailer are leveled. We're gonna cut some boards here. We're gonna put some cross bracing back there to get ready to remove the back end. Not completely sure how we're gonna go about tearing the rear end off, but it does have to come off eventually. Jason and I just had lunch, got the Duramax running. It's, it continues to rain outside. That's okay, we're, we'll, we'll work through it. We came up with a plan. Not quite sure if we can disclose that right at this moment because things always change. But as soon as something's a little bit more concrete, I'll let you know. The rain made our ground so dirty and so muddy we started throwing all our garbage out here so that it, we didn't sink into the mud. The laser does add three extra horsepower. If we get some new crush stickers on it, then we'll really be ripping. Jason and I are already running out of sunlight. As you can see, this whole side of the floor is out. We're putting in new bracing right here. There's three points where this wall meets up to the frame. It's bolted to the frame. Nice heavy duty steel here. Three spots. We're gonna run four boards deep here. We want this thing super, super heavy duty. I ended up taking the whole back portion off here. All the aluminum is sitting right here. So if you know how a Jake the Toilet Snakes trailer works, the door goes up, down, load your dirt bikes in. That's exactly what we'll have. You can see this side was rotted right out. This side did pretty good. This must have been the low side where all the water just sat and collected and then started draining through the wall instead of outside the trailer. That thing is working awesome. Jason, I just thought of something. We probably need to change that oil sometime in the future soon. What's that? We probably have to change the generator oil soon. <laughs> We've been running that thing. Oh, yeah. It's getting darker. It's getting darker. We're closing up shop. What are you doing back here? Rechecking the level from this morning. Uh, man, you don't sound good. Yeah. You don't sound your best. He said he just took more medication. So we were looking good back here, I think he said. And we'll see what's going on up here. Still level? Still level. That floor needed to be replaced. You had the furnace there. What was under there? A hot water tank? So there was two spots for water to get in. So that whole joint was shot. We originally wanted to put in the bathroom walls tonight, but that didn't happen because we realized that this was all rotten. I got bad news. Very, very bad news. We're not going to use the jacuzzi tub. Son of a gun, I wanted to use this jacuzzi tub. It's huge. It's beautiful. Jason hated it from the start. Look at how big this thing is. You could actually sit down in there and, and take a bath. 
Not anymore though, we have to make our own custom shower because this just wasn't going to fit with Crush in the back with a pop out or the hinge down, going down. Because when we travel, that whole room over there is going to come down. There's literally no rails at all. It's, it's literally just a big hinge. There's a big piano hinge that goes from stem to stern and it does in fact tip out. Try that again, not sounding so much like. <laughs> Did we really sound like pricks? Well, I just. You're just yeah. staying fat. Yeah. Staying fat. Well, I'm thinking about getting my shop on. What are you gonna get? Oh, man, you oh, you man. sound worse than worse. <laughs> you say you're on the recovery side. He sounds like he's dying over here. Yeah, she didn't see me yesterday. The mail came again. I have to say, I'm getting more and more fond of mail. Now, unfortunately, we can't install these today, but what we can do is check these things out. Here's the before tires. Kind of wide, not a lot of tread. And then here are the other two tires. So I have three different tires for this thing currently. Until today. This would be an insane stance for this thing. Imagine if this was one tire. Wouldn't that be nuts? Let's see what we got, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that. What we have here is the Maxxis Bighorn 2.0. These fit my 14 inch rim or wheels, whatever you want to call them. They are 27 by nine. They smell braptastic. Crush will be rocking the same tire size all the way around, back and front. You better believe I will make a video of us installing them and riding the crap out of these tires. I do have to thank Maxis and Chris. Thank you all very much. It's awesome to see that Maxis was willing to hook Crush up. It's so late, these guys are closing up. We're getting our shop on like I said we were gonna. Oh, you want uh, 23, 30 seconds? God forbid the U.S. went to the metric system. Well, I don't think they make 5 eighths fly with it anymore. At least they don't think they're selling here. Great. 5 eighths, we got 10 sixteenths, we got 20 30 seconds. So we need 21 or 19 30 seconds. Right there, that's what we need. Got our shop on. Now it's, now it's the plan. You wanted to get something to eat? Yeah, we'll get something to eat and then we'll put you up in a, in a hotel. Alright. <laughs> Where do you want to go? <laughs> Man, we were, I'm like, you're mentally exhausted and I'm mentally exhausted. <laughs> this will probably sound really cool. Gotta love the sound of a Duramax in any enclosed area. We're gonna end this 3D Machines production right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until next time, Jason and I are gonna get something to eat. It's on Brett Carl. Thank you, bye.